The following is a video tutorial for Edge Bio's newest dye terminator removal product, Optima DTR. Optima DTR is a new product line of dye terminator removal products that was developed specifically for high volume users. Optima plates are based on a novel, fully hydrated gel filtration matrix that removes all the same types of contaminants as Performa. Each Optima sample kit comes with the following items. The main component of the kit are the Optima DTR 96 well plates. The hydrated resin contains no hazardous chemicals or preservatives. We use EdgeBio's adhesive plate sealers to seal the top and bottom of the plate. These versatile sealers can be purchased separately using the listed catalog number. The next component is the plate lid. Since the plate sealers must be removed prior to the verse pin, the plate lid can be used to prevent cross-contamination during cleanup. Aside from the fact that you can use this item multiple times, it can also be purchased separately directly from EdgeBio. The kit also includes collection plates. This plate is used during the second spin to collect the purified DNA sequencing products. Since no extra steps are needed after this spin, the collection plate can be placed directly into an ABI Prism capillary sequencer. Like most of the other components in this kit, you can buy the collection plate separately by referencing the catalog number shown. The final component provided is the flat bottom waste plate. This plate is used during the first spin to catch the excess hydrating liquid that is removed to minimize dilution of the DNA sequencing products. Like the plate lids, this plate can be reused multiple times. To accommodate individual needs, Optima DTR comes in a variety of kit sizes. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will be featuring our two plate kit. Inside the box, you will find plate lids, which are used to prevent cross-contamination during cleanup. Collection plates which serve as a receiver for the purified DNA sequencing products during the second spin. Flat bottom waste plates, which are used to catch the hydrating liquid during the first spin. Optima DTR gel filtration plates, each labeled with a lot number, expiration date, and storage conditions. And finally, a protocol, which contains detailed instructions about how to use the product along with how to carry out RCF to RPM conversions you can also visit our website to use our online converter. The protocol for Optima DTR plates involves a few simple steps with a total processing time of 7 to 10 minutes. The first step merely involves pulling the plate out of the foil pouch. Next, remove the bottom plate sealer first. After you place the Optima plate on the tray, remove the top plate sealer. At this point, the stacked plates are centrifuged at 850 Gs for 3 minutes. Please note that the spin time varies with the other Optima formats. The first spin removes excess hydrating liquid from the columns and further compacts the gel resin. If you need to perform the conversion from RCF to RPM, click on the link above for our online converter. As you can see, after the first spin, the columns have compressed down slightly and maintain a uniform resin height from column to column, which is essential for use with a multi-channel or robotic pipetter. The Optima DTR plate is then transferred from the waste plate to the collection plate. At this point, there are several methods for loading your sample onto the gel. The first method involves using a single channel pipetter. It is very important to ensure that the sample is loaded directly onto the center of the gel bed regardless of the method used. The next method involves using a multi-channel pipetter. A robotic pipetter, such as a Beckman Biomech, can also be used. Since all of the columns have a consistent resin height across the plate, using either a robotic or multi-channel pipetter is effortless. The Optima and collection plates are once again centrifuged at 850 Gs, but this time for 5 minutes. During the second spin, the DNA sequencing products pass through the column and any small molecules less than 20 base pair in length are trapped in the resin. After the second spin, you can see that there is an even volume of Elliot recovered. Generally, you will see an increase of 1 to 4 microliters in addition to the input volume. The Optima plate is now discarded. You have now purified products that are ready to be sequenced without the need for high diformamide or any other reagents. The sample and collection plate can now be loaded directly into an ABI Prism sequencer. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you are interested in our products or would like to request a free sample, please visit us online at edgebio.com or contact us at customerservice at edgebio.com.